For a man whose demons made him long despise the sight of a new dawn, this is Todd Crandall, reborn. He's the former alcoholic, cocaine and heroin addict who is transforming lives on America's East Coast. What I say to people to get them going is simply, you deserve a better life and you can achieve it. It all stems from the awful depths of his own addiction problems. He spent 13 years self-destructing as he tried to escape the pain of his mother's suicide. I didn't think I deserved to live a life without drugs. I didn't want to live a life without drugs. I didn't know how to live a life without drugs. But a third drink driving charge was Todd's light bulb moment. He put down the drink and drugs and found a new addiction, forcing himself to train for one of the most gruelling athletic events in the world. The 3.8 kilometre swim, 180 kilometre ride and 42 kilometre marathon that is the Ironman. Cops that had arrested me were calling the house, former guys I did drugs with, and they were all like, I can't believe what you're doing. And I thought, I can turn this into something that can help people. And so he did, reaching out to people just like him, desperate for help. I was using copious amounts of alcohol and heroin and, you know, daily. Everything good, dude? Todd set up Racing for Recovery, a mental and physical alternative to traditional 12-step programs. A lot of his patients, like Chris Stone, are themselves now on the road to Ironman. You can do it, man. I know. Their recoveries are miracles amid the madness that's gripping America. I think we're getting overdosed right in the middle of the road. In Australia, heroin addiction is soaring again, but in the US, it's an epidemic. Heroin is everywhere, affecting everyone in its path. Unfortunately, I'm busy. His community support meetings in Ohio are full with addicts desperate for his guidance. And it just feels really good to be back. To just give them a glimmer of hope of what's in front of them and say, you can have this. Let me show you how to get it. We might be in suburban Ohio right now, but this town really could be anywhere around Australia. If there's one thing Todd says he's learnt along the way is that addiction knows no bounds. Stephen Keim was a student when he started using hard drugs. His mother fought to save him. Knocked on drug dealers' doors, grabbed them and said, look at this face, I'm your worst enemy. You're not going to take my kid. And he's been clean now 11 months, attributing that to his family and to Todd. And I saw a little myself in him and it, I could completely relate. As Todd pedals the back blocks of Sylvania, Ohio, there's a new dream afoot to build a live-in facility for the addicts he helps and one with international reach. Far-fetched, some might think, for a man who survives on donations alone. But alone is where he started this journey before he transformed from addict to Iron Man. I know somebody is going to be watching this and looking at me and saying, I can't do it. I'm lost. I felt exactly the way you feel. And if I can do this, you can do it too. In Sylvania, Ohio, Laura Turner, Nine News.